Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics and welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Shine video right here on YouTube. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the MPC 1929 Model A pickup truck. Now this is the second model that you can build in the AMT Woody kit and I showed the Woody just a little while ago. Again another great model by a uh, MPC, which this version is actually the AMT Ertl version from a long time ago. So without further ado, let's go down to our bench and see how I built this amazing model. Here we are once again with a 1929 Ford Model A from MPC. This has also been released by AMT under AMT Ertl, and currently I do believe under round two it's back to the MPC logo. This is the truck that you can also build from the Woody kit, because it's a four-in-one kit. And this is how I decided to build mine, with a nice gloss black and a removable top up here, just to uh, make it all nice. And again, you've got that wonderful posable steering. It's not hooked up to the steering column like on some of the MPC kits, where they had the rod go through and then a gear on the end and then a little swing arm that moved everything. You can also remove the hood on this kit as careful as you can. <laughs> and uh, again, rotate it through. Now the license plate does have Ford in here, but you could glue something over top of that just to get it in the spirit of 1929. One thing I did is I painted the spare tire cover with Tester's flat tan, just so it stood out a little bit instead of being just flat black, which would look pretty plain. <laughs> Anyway, you can see the nice steering wheel in here. There is a gauge panel. We'll look at that in just a minute. Actually, let's just turn this around here and grab it like a caveman and bring it right into the camera. So inside the truck bed, there are some mold marks. I did build this quite a many years ago, so I didn't know about scraping them down like I do now. There's that nice instrument panel and the steering wheel. I used Tester's copper paint in the center of that wheel don't know if it's quite correct what you would see in a Model A. Again, this is from the times before the internet. Time before the internet, believe it or not. So we didn't really know unless you actually had a Model A somewhere. But I think at that time I was learning that the Model A had green engines. Now I don't know if that's an actual thing or not. We'll have to look it up on a Google search. But there's our updraft carburetor going into that manifold, which also Oh, the intake manifold goes up and underneath, and the exhaust goes up and over the top of the intake manifold. So it does look like one piece. And if I just turn this around to this side, again you can see the drive shaft coming down. Now I do believe my headlight just popped out of place. I have to re-glue that, won't I? Anyway, there's the uh, steering column coming down, and it, it does not really go anywhere. So you just glue it to the side of the... Uh, fender assembly. There's our starter motor and our generator. <laughs> okay, let's just rotate this up and over. Now there's no side mirror to crack off like on the, uh, the Woody Wagon, so I don't have to worry too much about that. There's our Ford transmission up underneath. Uh, sorry, our oil pan here. And there's our transmission and the battery being visible from the bottom. And on the muffler, I used that old Humbrol paint. I don't know how many of you use this stuff. I'll describe it in a second. But let us know in the comments down below. You paint it on the steel, and once it was dry, you buffed it with a Q-tip, and it ended up becoming all shiny. That stuff is really awesome. I don't know why they don't make it anymore. Maybe it contained lead. <laughs> no, anyway. So that's how the muffler goes on. It's got this bend in it. That doesn't go over the axle or under it but it actually goes underneath the rod here. This is a torque tube going into our transmission. So this part, there's a bar in, or a, a drive shaft inside the torque tube that turns into a gear on this side. And um, actually that's how these rods are welded onto the top of it. Because if it was on a drive shaft, as soon as you turn the engine on, these would rip off because the drive shaft would spin around. So this is in fact a torque tube. So again, quite a nice model kit by MPC originally. They made the molds. But again, um, AMT Ertl actually produced the kit in this version. And now it's back in round two again under MPC. So you can see how confusing sometimes 
plastic model kit history can be. Now what I'd like to do with these wonderful vehicles is in the future, when everything is chrome, because <laughs> in the future everything is chrome, I want to make a model car museum that has all these dioramas of these antique cars. You know, there'll be scenes where there's going to be like Henry Ford sitting in there, you know, looking over the cars at a dealership or something like that. I, I haven't quite figured out all those details, but I do know that I do want to have a museum, not only to have my own models in there, but also the ones that my father built. Now my father has passed away, so I think it would be great to to have his model somewhere where people can enjoy them instead of just me or you know on YouTube here but actually like in their environment I've got my uncle's Dykes encyclopedia from 1927 and inside there it shows like how to make a garage and all this stuff in the real world so I can duplicate that into the model world so if this kind of stuff interests you down below somewhere down here underneath the video there's a button that says join now if you click that for as little as three dollars a month, which isn't really much, you can help us to, you know, eventually get up enough money, or with enough of you, the numbers, to uh, start to make that museum dream come a reality. So if that's what you want to do, please click that join button, and uh, don't forget to enjoy these great videos. Thank you once again for tuning into this wonderful video and sticking to the end. I really hope you enjoyed my build of the MPC 1929 Ford Model A pickup truck. Well, I got this as a Ertl AMT kit, so back in the day. Now, if you enjoy these great videos, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up for all our efforts. That'll help spread this video all across YouTube, because the YouTube algorithm really enjoys the thumbs up nowadays. Also, if you want to get some amazing model car kits of your own to build, check out our website at www.monster-hobbies.ca. We can ship all the way around the world, including the United States, believe it or not. It's just south of the border from Canada. And because our dollar is so low, you really get a good deal with the exchange rate. N never mind just getting a good deal. <laughs> I think our dollar is like 79 cents US. So imagine the possibilities. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you are all building your own models and eventually you will show them in your own channel, much as I am showing them now. So once again, everybody, happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.